I'm Lina Maria Murillo, and I am assistant professor in the departments of gender, women, and sexuality studies and history. And I am co-director of the Reproductive Justice and Maternal Theory Oberman Working Group at the University of Iowa. And during the 2020-2021 academic year, we sort of, um, as everybody else was in hibernation, we we said we're, we're going to mini hibernate. We're going to, you know, tamp down the work of the Oberman group and meet virtually and just do a reading group. And so we offered to everyone in the group, um, especially to the the undergrads and graduate students, that um, we would put together a reading list. We read together, and for those who are students, we would offer them uh, the books, um, courtesy of, of our group and of the Oberman Center. And so we did, we did that for a full year. Um, we even had two people come and speak to our group who were, we were reading their books. So Carol Joffe, who's a sociologist out of California, and then uh, Patricia Sabella, who um, is also a sociologist uh, out of uh, UC Santa Cruz. And they came in virtually to talk to us and, you know, had wonderful conversations. And we really were for each other who think about reproductive justice and all of its manifestations, it really was a moment to um, find community and um, find respite from all of the, the quarantine madness and, and, get, and actually get some intellectual work done um, without pressure, right? So that was, that was critical for our year. So I'm Natalie Fitzmaurice, and I'm an associate professor of communication studies and gender, women's, and sexuality studies, and I co-direct the working group with Lena. And it's one of the most um, robust and generative intellectual spaces I have at the University of Iowa. I cherish that space. And so in January, I believe it was in the new year, um, Andrea O'Reilly contacted me to ask if I might contribute uh, an essay on reproductive justice to this, uh, this newly updated reader in maternal theory. And I wanted to do it only if I could write it with Lena. <laughs> and uh, so I reached out to see if Lena would be willing. And she said yes, and had this brilliant idea, which is, you know, we have this working group full of people who are doing incredible work on reproductive justice in Iowa. What if we talk about what reproductive justice contributes to maternal theory by thinking about it concretely here on the ground in Iowa. And so what we did was we asked a few of our collaborators in the working group to talk with us for 30 minutes over Zoom about the work that they're doing. And so we interviewed Lastasia Coleman, who's a midwife and does a ton of work on black maternal health in Iowa and maternal health disparities, racial disparities in Iowa. We talked with Nicole Novak, who's a public health researcher and who works on um, ICE and immigration raids and the impact of, um, of ICE raids on uh, maternal health and uh, infant mortality. And then we spoke also with Megan Thompson, who's another midwife her work is um, centers on incarceration and um, uh, people who struggle with substance use disorders. And so she's looking at um, how to provide perinatal care in those contexts. And so we asked them about the work that they're doing, how reproductive justice informs their work and how the, the work that they're doing illuminates what it means to think about motherhood and race and um, migration and class and a variety of other things in the context of the Midwest and in Iowa and how to think about those things through the lens of reproductive justice. It was madness. <laughs> um, you know, we were, you know, we're, we're all working from home. Um, Natalie and I both have children and they were all, they were at home the entire time. Um, and so we would carve out like Tuesday afternoons to write together and to, to do the interviews and somehow magically, right? If you stack uh, a semester's worth of Tuesdays together, you can write um, a 10 page uh, chapter. It was short, right? Um, but, and we did quite a bit of editing. I think it would have been much longer than that. Um, but, you know, and, and did, went through a couple of, of drafts um, and then sent it off. And then before we knew it in uh, July, we had a copy of this bound, this massive biblical, almost um, encyclopedic book 
on maternal theory with our article inside, which is I think a huge feat to do um, during the pandemic and not being able to see each other. I mean, this was it, it was all over, over Zoom. So it was incredible. We, given that it came out so quickly, we also were able to frame the whole essay through, um, through this lens of um, the pandemic and racial injustice in the United States and, you know, mothering in that kind of precarity. And so um, there's a kind of crispness and edge to the piece that I think comes out of writing in this moment and moving to production so quickly. 